guys welcome back to my channel miss crochet and coffee here and this is kind of a catch-up video for those of you who haven't caught my live uh, streams yet um, I'm gonna start doing them a little bit more frequently um, I'm gonna try to essentially space them out so that I'm not doing one every night but maybe every other night um, I will be starting at anywhere between 8 30 and 9 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time and I'll probably go until about midnight my time Normally because that's what time I'm usually up. But if you haven't caught one of the live streams, you would have missed the fact that I did get two canvases in this week. Um, actually, this package came in, I believe, on Saturday. And then the next one I'm going to show you came in just the other day. I don't remember what day exactly it was. Um, this package here is from Peggy Buy. Now, I ordered this, which if you remember a couple videos back, I had gotten an order from Peggy Buy. I'm pretty sure my tree that I did with the hearts that uh, for my husband for his birthday, I'm pretty sure that was the Peggy Buy one. If not, I apologize. My brain, there's so many diamond paintings. There's so many diamonds. Everything sparkles. You get squirrel syndrome. So I had ordered uh, two items or two. I had two orders from Peggy Buy. I had the, five, the buy four, get one free, and then I went back and ordered just one because I wanted to see how far or how much longer it would take if you get a single package versus when they put multiple packages in the like polyfoam roller um, packaging that they put it in. So um, this one came, what, maybe two weeks after my first order came. My first order was here pretty quick. It came in like two weeks. This one took almost a month to get here. Now, a couple of more videos back, I had mentioned the, the shipping process called ePacket. ePacket will get your stuff to you within 12 to 20 days. It is worth the few extra bucks because it doesn't tend to get lost in the Chicago black hole or now the California black hole like some of the other packages do when they package them like this by themselves. And they seem to be a little bit more secure in their packaging when they pack it with when when it's with e-packet. I could be wrong on that. That could just be my own little like fantasy world, I guess. But when I got this package, I was highly disappointed. The post office essentially stuck it in my mailbox and went like that. So they kind of crushed the edge of it, but it didn't affect the diamond painting. And I'll show you what it is since you're just sitting here staring at an empty envelope and nothing else. So this is something I had gotten. It's a 40 by 50. And I wanted to try out like everybody else. I want to be part of the cool kids club. So I ordered a special diamond, diamond painting. So as you can see, you've probably seen this one before. It's the lion. Isn't he cool? Again, it's a 40 by 50. I consider this a partial because, you know, you don't, drill the whole area you just drill the line and he has the special crystal diamonds and the special crystal diamonds okay weird crinkly noise so if you don't like it like mute your your headset for like mm, 20 seconds all right we're good so this one has 12 different crystals and we have some special gems here and I'm going to raise myself up because I can't see if I'm showing you guys the correct thing. So again, there are the special crystals. Try not to knock you over. And then he does look really cool. I love it. He's going to go up with my soul keeper. And it's supposed to have 12 bags because it says here on the key, which let me move all this stuff where I have a catastrophe over here. It says it have twelve. It has twelve uh, packs of diamonds with it. So, and those are the symbols, which you of course can see are pretty vibrant and clear on here. I don't believe you drill his eyes, but the rest of him, like his mane and his face, get drilled. And of course, the framing outside, like that's pretty cool because then when you put it in a frame, essentially, if you can knock these creases out of it from it being rolled. It'll look pretty cool. So we're supposed to have 12 colors. And this is some of my favorite packaging because then it, inventory is real easy. So we have our 12 colors here. And the lighting's not the best. I do apologize because it is rather 
dreary outside. So there you go. So that's a red. I'm trying to shake them around so you can actually see them. That looks like a clear. But then again, that looks like another clear. If it's a different color, forgive me again. Color blindness. Struggle is real. And then that looks like 310. But he has all kinds of special diamonds with them. There's some blue. Um, I see a gold. And like an orangey red. And then we have red. And we have our blues. So that's 11. And then, of course, this bag would make 12. So I got all the drills for that one. Now, the next one I'm not going to show you the drills for because I don't think I remember where I put them. You got to remember, I got these in a couple of days ago, so essentially I already put them away. I just happen to have the envelope for this one sitting behind me. And I figured I'd do kind of an update video for the week since the videos I have posted this week have been crochet tutorials. Because I don't want my crochet dudes to think I forgot about them. I ain't forget you. I still love y'all. So here's the other canvas I got. Now, I was a little disappointed in the canvas because the first time I ordered from the Rachel store, everything was absolutely perfect. The canvas came perfect. It was in a box. Um, everything just came perfectly. This time, I ordered a custom because I wanted to see the difference if you were to order a custom versus something they already had printed in the store. So I ordered this custom for my son. As a matter of fact, if you give me a second, I will find the diamonds and everything that goes with it. Which is pretty easy because it was right behind me, apparently. Okay, so first things first. One, this came from the Montague Rachel store, which is the store I purchased from before. I will make sure to link her down in the description box. Um, I believe she is going to be sending me out another canvas. You guys have to remember, when these things are shipped, after the they leave the shop, they have done their part. You can't blame the damage that happens to it. You can't blame all of it on the shop. You can blame part of it because they could have put it in a more safe, secure spot. Like they could have sh shipped it better. Like they could have put it in a, on a foam roller or in a box because a lot of them like to save money by just rolling them up and then just shoving them in the bubble mailer, i.e. this one. Which this one was done the same way. It was, it was on a foam roller. And it was not in a box, it was in a bubble mailer, which I was highly disappointed when I saw that because I hate when they come in the bubble mailers because you know they're going to be creased. You just know they're going to be creased, let's say like that. Keep it clean. It's, it's going to be creased. I do love the fact that each one of the uh, packets came in Ziploc baggies, so that saves me a step. Absolutely love that because if you remember from... My Mickey Mouse uh, and Pals and what was the other one I got? A Lighthouse. Uh, they were not in Ziploc baggies. They were essentially in uh, the regular bags that they come in. But these came in Ziploc bags, so I was highly, highly impressed by that. I do love that factor. So we're going to move those drills out of the way quick. And they're not, I don't believe they're weighed. I could be wrong, but this is what the image is supposed to look like. And we have Mario and Friends, because my son is a huge Mario fan. And of course, since my daughter got one, I had to make one for my little boy. So here's Mario and his friends. And I'm not sure, like I, okay, there's Yoshi, Bowser, Princess Peach, Toadstool. You got Luigi, Mario, and I'm not sure what that little egg thing is. So if you can tell me, that's 10 cool points to you. So tell me what that little egg thing is, and I'll get you a little closer here so you can see it. So that's what the image is supposed to look like. It has 43 colors. And it had an inventory sheet, which you guys know I love my inventory sheets. And we're going to zoom you in a little bit here so you can actually see what's going on. But yes, you guys know I love my inventory sheet. So we have inventory. And I'm just going to shove these back in the bag so I don't lose them. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I love seeing the big bag, the big Ziploc bags full of them. Like, that's great. And from what I could tell, I didn't see a whole lot of trash. It is a round drill. It's a 40 by 30. So I thought that'd be a decent size to get uh, the detail I want. I got the detail I wanted out of my daughter's image. So I'm hoping I can get the detail I want out of this image. Again, I believe she will be sending me a new canvas because I, there was a couple of 
issues that I wasn't fond of. So issue number one. One, it didn't come in a box. During the winter time, uh, you guys know, if you don't know, the heat and cold do affect these diamond paintings. It can affect the glue and how it, it bubbles or raises. And with it being out in the elements, it could have severe damage to your diamond painting. From my experience. Now, one of my diamond paintings, uh, I'm supposed to be getting a paint with diamonds uh, in the mail today. But apparently the USPS uh, thought it would be a great idea to send it on vacation. And as you guys know, I live in North Dakota. It was stuck in the black hole of Chicago for about two weeks. Um, it was stuck in customs before Chicago for another two weeks. So yeah, essentially I've, I ordered this, I believe October 19th and it's supposed to be delivered today. I highly doubt it will get here because like I said, the post office sent it on vacation. So my paint with diamonds right now is sitting in sunny Opa, what is it called? Opa Laka, Florida. So it went from Chicago, Illinois to Florida. And I'll insert a picture. Okay, so they sent it to Florida. And, um, yeah, I live in North Dakota. And I'm not, like, very geographical. But I'm pretty sure if it would have went straight up, it would have hit me right in the face. But apparently it needed to go on break, uh, like, vacation first, so they sent it to Florida. But like I said, if I start walking now, I will probably get it by Christmas. Like, I could be in Florida by Christmas. So, I'm not going to start walking, obviously. Not sure why they decided to send it to Florida. I did check my shipping to make sure that the address was correct, which why would I put it in Florida? I've never in my life lived in Florida. I mean, I would like to go to Florida. That's gone off my meds is there. Um... But yeah, so hopefully I will have a couple more unboxes for you guys next week. Uh, this week I wanted to focus on the crocheting because I focus so much on diamond painting and uh, I want to make sure that I have a good, you know, array of videos between diamond painting and crocheting. So enough chit chat and jibber jabbing. Let's get into this canvas. So, and for once, that's not even my device. That's my child's tablet you hear doo 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 dooping in the background there. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and pull this back. Now, the first time I tried pulling this back, the glue came up, and I was highly upset about that because I've never had that happen before. I know it does happen. The problem is that it's cold outside. Going from the warm building to the cold truck to the colder mailbox, sitting in the mailbox for however long it takes you to get it, will sometimes affect it. And I keep picking at this one corner. I'm not sure why. Can you guys see me? I hope so. Get this little notification out of the way. All right, so let's open this up. Now, there was some major creases in it, and now there's bubbles. Um, the bubbles weren't there when I opened it the other night. Again, the heat and cold will affect it, and because it's been sitting in the warm house from cold outside, there it started to form bubbles where the creases are. Actually, no, I lied. Those are just creases, so let me show you. See how deep those are? And that one down the center. Yeah, I wasn't very happy about that. And like I said, I've ordered from this store before, so I know she'll do right by me. So you can see the image, and you can see straight through here where it is tacky. It's really tacky. That's not an issue. We're going to try to pull this up without ripping that paper off there. The symbols are nice and clear. I think I probably should have went with a bigger size, to be honest, to get the detail the way I want it, because I'm not sure how detailed that's going to be. I won't know until I complete it. But you can see Yoshi, the little guy with the star that Mario's holding, Mario, Luigi, Toad, Princess, and Bowser. Um, again, it is a 40 by 30. It has 43 colors, legend nice and big on the sides. She has the bigger legends on the side, and I like that. Just so that when I'm working, I have a big legend. It is only on one side. So, minus the creases in it, it was absolutely perfect. 
Um, I'm pretty sure there's a way to work around those creases, and we're just gonna open the other side. I mean, yeah, it's flat already, but we're just gonna open it for old time's sake here. So yeah, other than that, there's no issues really with the glue. I did the whole like rub your finger on it and get it all warm and pat it and then rip the paper up and it came up just fine. Or it stayed down just fine, not came up. So, again, major, major creases in it. And that's the thing, I thought it was bubbles, but there's not. There, those, what you're seeing, are creases. And it was on a foam roller. The problem was, I'm not sure, honestly, what the problem was, because... You can see those creases majorly in the back. And the way I opened this, I opened it so that it wouldn't do that. And it still did it. Um, essentially, that's what I've been doing. They told me to take the iron to it to see if I can try to iron it out. But I'm not... I don't, I don't want to mess with it too much. Because I don't want to end up ruining it worse than it already is. Uh, they did say about sending out another one. Um... But yeah, I, I was a little disappointed, to be honest. I really didn't like the fact that it came with creases already in it. Um, so, like I said, she's going to try to send me out another one. I really would like to have this for my son. Um, I wanted to have it for his room, so it's not like a gift or anything. I try not to do gifts with diamond painting and stuff, because then that puts the pressure on. You get anxiety. I have to finish this and that. It, no, this is just something for my son's room, just like my daughter's was just something for her room. Since we're new to the area and they don't have anything on their walls, I thought this would be nice. And he really likes her Minnie Mouse or her Mickey Mouse and friends. So I figured it's time for him to have one of his own. Here is his. I will go through the whole process with you guys whenever I do start working on it. Um, again, if she sends me out another one, that's great. If not, uh, that's also great. I can watch some YouTube videos. We all know there's a couple of YouTubers out there that show you tips and tricks on how to fix these canvases. Um... So more than likely, that's what I'll end up doing if she can't send me out another one. Because, of course, I don't expect her to send me out another one just because it has creases in it. Like, that's something that I could possibly fix myself or just try to work around. Uh, I mean, crap. I can probably still put the diamonds on there and then seal it to make sure that they don't go anywhere. Boom. Problem solved. But overall, this canvas, I'd have to give a 4 out of 5. Mainly because it came with the, the deep creases. I can't... I. I I, from, to go from having that perfect canvas to having this one kind of upset me, but it is what it is. These things happen. It wasn't completely on her, so I can't blame the Montague Rachel store. I still stand behind them and their work that they're doing there. Um, so check them out over in AliExpress. Again, the lion came from Peggy Buy, so if you like that, I paid ten ninety nine for that lion on Peggy Buy. Just make sure that when you're ordering anything from AliExpress, Peggy Buy, New Frog, or wherever you order from, Make sure you use ePacket to get that 12 to 20 days. Um, like I said, I do have a couple more diamond paintings coming in next week. So be looking for some unboxings. Um, as for my live schedule, like I said, I'm going to try to space them out so that I'm not doing them every night. Live will be from 9 p.m. to midnight my time, which is Central Standard Time. Please feel free to come join us and join in the fun. Tonight's live, we're going to be playing Would You Rather?, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say because I'm going to get the tag that you've probably seen a couple of the other YouTubers doing. I want to see your guys' thoughts on these tags because these tags are hilarious. But the one that they just did for Would You Rather has been a little bit more grim. So I would like to see what you guys have to say. Either way, I'm starting to ramble, so I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay warm if it's snowing where you're at. If it's warm where you're at, send that our way because it's snowing where we're at and how could you not share the warmth? Either way, my name is Miss Crochet and Coffee and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys this evening for our live chat. Bye-bye.